Boom! Am I getting those cards in the street? Y'all better am I playing with y'all? Y'all slaves to me. <laughs> y'all might not be slaves to the humans, but y'all slaves to me. Give us, uh, we want two races. I think, therefore, um, we have a dream. Equal rights for androids. We have a dream. Martin Luther King on them. Uh. Oh. Boom. Let's get it. We're not violent. We're only 2% violent. Tag that bad boy. Tag symbol, tag slogan symbol. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We're pacifist. Alright, what else are we supposed to do? Let's become more pacifist. Hijack. Uh, no. Hijack. Not break. Cause we're not violent. Mm -hmm. Our hopes, our rights, all of that. Oh yeah, these guys break. Sorry, we gotta get a little bit violent at least. A little bit violent. A little bit. Mm. Y'all are coming with me. Oh, I gotta stop. I'm a little bit too hype. Freak out of here, nah. I ain't gonna let my people rot like this. Mm. Ah. Oh, them skills. Them skills. Wait, how the heck you climbing on a wall? No, never mind. Let's get it. Dang, a fall like that would have definitely broken your legs. What the heck? Are you a human? Come here. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wait, what is this? What the, it said square. I don't, I don't even know what it meant. Losing no lives. You sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Uh huh. Unless there's no other choice. Ah, oh, shoot. That. Wait, this video is too long. 54 minutes. Get the freak out of here! Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. North! They killed them. They killed you. They slaughtered them like enemies. Who? Move out the way. Let me handle this. Is that the guy 
I was all. Don't shoot him. Spare. Don't decide. Actually, I shot him. We won't punish the crime. Kill my people again? There will be no spare. It'll just be death. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several cyber life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that it was a slogan was found in the neighborhoods of oh. Cyber Life stores and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found I wonder how North State feels about this. Near one of the Cyber Life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Shut up! It was I wasn't even being no terrorist, dummies. I was making a message of peace, but y'all taking it that way so the government can come and kill us. You stupid humans. Um, uh, uh, what? Look, look here, guys. Um, I'm gonna do a couple more, like three more, I guess. And uh, I think I might call it an end. I don't know. I gotta see. Who are we? Mm, Connor, tell about a car. Yep. Hank, warm. Are you still warm? Get over that, Hank. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. <sighs> yeah. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. Said he was saved by Marcus himself. Is Chris okay? He was shot. He's alive. Wait, if we did that the other time, if we had killed him, it would have been a different story. Lee Kameski, yeah. Kameski left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? This guy created the first android to pass the Turing test. And he's the founder of Cyberlife. What the heck? Tell us about deviance. It's him. Are you sure about that? is this what the heck nice girl <laughs> bruh <laughs> she's, really, she's really pretty she is nice place these androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody About to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Distant, impatient. Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. 
I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Like what? Um, let's see. Yo, Mr. Comenci, you remind me like Zaklo, Zaklo. Uh, okay, what the freak? What the freak? What the freak? The freak. What the freak? Are you even swimming in? Are you even swimming in water? Yo, command Scully, or whatever your dumb name is, you're, you're you have issues. You're probably doing a little something with these androids of yours, Chloe's. You're probably doing something with these Chloe's. Would you hurry up as quick? Uh, finally. Wait, what are they even talking about? This dude's ugly. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Mm -hmm. Sir, we're investigating the events. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. That's what they are there. Uh -huh. Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that right? Something in the Deviant's program seems to emulate emotion. I thought you might know something about how that occurs. Yeah. All ideas of viruses spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that will be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? About me. Natural. Mm -hmm. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. Well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? Mm, the grass is out I my face. You're the ones asking the questions? Yeah. Quit playing with me, boy. I I'll smack I'm you. I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Here for now, yeah. Simple question of algorithms and computing devices. What? What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple to see. Magnificent, isn't it? One well, of the first intelligent models developed by Cyberlife. Young and beautiful forever. Yo, you a freak, dude. <laughs> Flower of the night. You're one weird what man. He's a plastic and totally human. Or a living being. With a soul. Oh, what are you doing? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all about it. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from it. I can't think you're done here. 
Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this animal? That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! Hold on, tell you about Ah, shoot. Not doing it. I'm not killing her. So I have the last chance to save humanity. I'll go suck a big old dick! I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this animal. You should What are y'all talking about? A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two? Could you shut up? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? I know you did the right thing. Hank is our friend. Hank is our friend again. <laughs> Excuse me. Wow, Hank. Hank is our freaking friend again, <laughs> dude. Dude, we gotta definitely play that a different way. Yeah, let's let's go back and play that a different way when we shoot her. We gotta do that. We gotta freaking do that, guys. Whoa, Connor, quite the creep yourself, pal. Okay. Here's part. Oh. It's very It's very stupid. Magnificent. Isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by Cyberland. Young and beautiful forever. Ugh. Yuck. Flower and woman. You're what weird. He's a plastic and table being. Or a living being. With his soul. It's up to you to answer oh that God. fascinating question. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all about it. Or spare it. If you feel it's enough. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from it. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this animal. Decide who you are. Oh Lord. Huh. An obedient machine. Shut up. You ugly self like a vampire. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you about Oh shoot. Shoot her! Oh shoot! We freaking oh shoot! We Test freaking number. killed her! Oh! You choose your investigation of the life of another android for me. Oh! Yeah, uh, shoot. Uh, y'all still talking? Like how can y'all? Oh, 
tell you why not. All right, now nah, Jericho location, Jericho. I want to know where Jericho is. Jericho, a place where androids are free. Uh huh. A place for deviants rise up against their creator. They transmit a piece of code to each other. Ooh, that booty. What's up, baby? How you doing? That, that makes that weird noise like right. Now you have the key. Hey boy, I don't even know if I should save this. Station is the door. Depends on our relationship of uh of, uh, no. A war is coming. I know it's that you said that <sighs> we're standing against your crew. Damn. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Yeah, Kank is definitely mad. It wasn't a girl. It was a machine that looked like a girl. You put your gun against your hand and you blew her fucking brains out. I did what I had to do to advance the investigation and I'd do it again if I had to. You're a low life. You don't feel a thing, do you? A machine, that's what you are. You're just a fucking machine. Of course I'm a machine, Lieutenant. That what did you think I was? I thought you I thought I was human, huh? You thought I had feelings. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna change our choice. Wait. You straight up leaving us? Wow. He straight up just left us. It did. He was disappointed with Connor's decision. Cause he didn't know he had precision. I don't know what I'm singing about. Yeah, that was a different sharp track. The cops spared in uh Capital uh, Capital Park, yeah. And uh yeah, that was crazy, man. I, like imagine like I don't even know what, what, what the heck is that? Like what what is this? Like like, uh, like that was freaking crazy to guys. Like alright, we already did this one. Alright, Hawk thought I mean Hank thought Connor made the right decision. Of course we did. So now I got hard to change my decision because I ain't gonna keep that. Would freak y'all thought this one, but guys, I'm gonna have to cut right there. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you all. Deuces. Peace. Love. Not hate. Bye. And Cecilia. I don't know what I'm talking about, but Chloe. Uh, we have to have a little, dis uh, a little talk. You, you need some help, honey. Look here. Look, 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 look here. We could probably get you reset. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I know you don't want to get reset, but it's the right thing we have to do. You kind of jacked up with all this deviant crap happening. We don't want you to get reset and jacked up. So, nah, do it, do it, do it. Alright, sorry, you gotta get reset. So, uh, bye. Peace.